Hey guys, so it's lab day today and I just wanted to show you a polarized retroreflective sensing mode application for tough applications where you might be trying to sense really shiny uh, surfaces, maybe square bottles with these little, I don't know if you can see that it has like a chamfer type uh, edge to it. So you can see the output is on right now, which means that it's receiving like 100% of this uh, reflected light back into the sensor. Uh, the thing to note here is that the bigger your reflector, the bigger your object has to be, to, you have to block the entire beam in order to get a solid output back here, a change in output. In this case, this sensor is a light operate sensor, which means if it's receiving light back, it's turning an output on, which is great for demoing purposes. So in this case, let's just uh, run through some product here. This is a shiny bottle, a uh, glass bottle. It's not seeing any changes here. I'm right on the edge here. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, so I'm right here on the edge and it's, it's completely blocked, so it's not seeing anything So until I'm fully removed. So no problem there with this with the cylinder bottles, but when I get to a, a tougher one where maybe we see we're right here at the edge, notice you have to block the entire beam here. So I'm blocking some of the beam here, right here, and you can see that change here. But it does really well with uh, this leading edge, and if you want it to be even more precise, here you can see the the light is completely angled here with the shininess of the object. Um, but if you wanna get even more precise with the lead detection, you can add an aperture to the lens of this sensor. And so that's gonna narrow down the amount of light that you're getting back in, creating uh, uh, less gain on the sensor and a smaller beam size. So I hope this helps with your application. Thanks.